Hi, I'm Susan Jane Gilman, the author of The Ice Cream Queen of Orchard Street. It's the story of a little girl who emigrates to New York from Russia in 1913, and as soon as she arrives, she's crippled and abandoned on the streets of New York. Yet through pure tenacity over 70 years, she rises to become who President Eisenhower calls the Ice Cream Queen of America. I got the idea when I, a friend of mine and I were joking around about a, an ice cream man, a real ice cream man named Tom Carvel, who used to make his own commercials. Please come to Carvel, buy my ice cream. It was so funny that I Googled him. I found out his real name was Tom Carvalis. He was a Greek immigrant and he had this rags to riches story. And I thought that would make a great basis for a novel. The problem is writing about a nice person who makes a nice product is not at all interesting. I wanted to write a really delicious female anti-hero. Imagine if Leona Helmsley had her own children's television show, or Scarlett O'Hara was the doyenne of an empire of ice cream franchises. Somebody who doesn't really like kids, who'd rather have a good stiff drink than eat an ice cream cone. And that's where I got the genesis of the book. And it takes place over 70 years. It follows the course of American history. And during the research for it, I found out, for example, that the US military became the biggest ice cream producer in history during World War II. And they built barges, ice cream barges, that they towed across the Pacific, which churned out 15,000 gallons of ice cream a day. Or that ice cream had been blamed for the spread of polio. So my protagonist's life follows the big events that happened throughout American history, and it turned into this sort of big, delicious read.